initiative has stalled that would have implemented several different gun control reforms. That's something that was celebrated at a gun rights rally today. This is a victory for freedom. We now have a chance to catch our breath a little bit. Initiative 1639 would have raised the age required to buy semi-automatic rifles and expanded background checks, but last night a judge in Thurston County blocked it from going on the November ballot. He threw out the nearly 300,000 signatures in support of that measure. Our hot camera working for you tonight with why the judge made that decision and how gun advocates in our community reacted. Ariana, the ruling was made largely because the judge said the petitions weren't readable. People didn't know what they were signing. He says that's a violation of state law, that decision completely changed the nature of conversation at today's rally. A number of them exercising their open carry rights. Please be aware of the direction of your muzzles at all times. Gun rights supporters crowded a small corner of Franklin Park today. I'm a firm believer in the ability of a person to exercise their Second Amendment right. The Liberty or Death rally, a planned protest, now turning positive for Spokane resident Mark Davies. I was so happy to see that measure fail. They were pulling a scam on the public. City Councilman Mike Fagan echoing his sentiment. The sponsors of I 1639 were handed a great big stinky turd. State Representative Matt Shea whipping up a crowd, blaming gun control measures on the left and the media. They're the ones that are defending tyranny. And by the way, Marxism has never ended in anything else. For Mark, the debate over guns is a non starter, especially when it comes to schools. Concealed carry, open carry, uh, should have armed guards in our school system. As he says, the wide majority of gun owning folks, good people, armed in the park today with no violence, he says proves that. Doesn't bother me at all. I'm not the least bit nervous about it. Most of these people are very conscientious. I'm not worried about anybody doing something silly. A small crowd, but a big message. As the backers of 1639 have already appealed. We need to stop proposing more restrictions on firearms, which is only seeking to solve the problem at face value and start diving into the core of the problem. And with that appeal, the decision will go to the Washington State Supreme Court. Their decision will be the final say on whether Initiative 1639 makes it on November's ballots. We'll keep you updated. Hawk Hammer, KXY4 News. Thanks so much, Hawk. Still